as protests and calls for the end of police brutality across the country gains momentum, the Nigerian youth have taken things a step further by forming their own political party, tagged Youth Democratic Party. <laughs> Recall that the protest began with calls for the scrapping of the Special Anti-Robbery Squad Unit of the Nigerian Police, popularly known as SAS. This took about three days before the government and the Inspector General of Police bowed to incessant pressure and disbanded the units. However, the police created a totally new unit called the Special Weapons and Tactics Squad, called SWAT. If this move was meant to appease the youth and stop them from protesting, it failed woefully as it even aggravated the frequency of protests across the nation as Enugu and River State became new additions to the growing list of states that protests that protests are being held. This morning, the youth seem to have taken things a step further by going ahead to launch their brand new political party called the YDP, the Youth Democratic Party, is said to comprise of only youth who have had enough of the brutality experienced from all sectors of the police. The launch of this new political party has sparked reactions from several angles, with Twitter users reacting happily to it. There were even funny remarks from some individuals stating that the youth are going to rise up and vote for the party like it's a BB Niger show. There were also calls from some angles for a total fund raising from all youth to raise money for the registration and running of the political party ahead of the 2023 general elections. And these are this, uh, some of the reactions from people. Uh, someone says, I love this movement. I am really amazed the youth could come up with this hashtag youth democratic party. Mm, that is, there's a problem for all of those uh, old politicians who are aspiring to continue to rule this country without having any or whatever to bring to the table that the era of a uh, recycling old politicians is over. People like Bola Tinumbu, Atiku and the rest, they need to step aside. If not, the youth will do them shaggy, according to what someone is saying here. Well, I believe Nigeria will be great once again. And if we, if you will be home today, you can join hands. Let our voices be heard by retweeting and commenting with hashtag ends swat. I believe together we can be strong. So true, man. Hmm. Hashtag youth democratic party. Hashtag, hashtag youth democratic party. Retweet so we can make this work. We have to build a new Nigeria for ourselves and push those old people away from power. Hmm. Just 10 million young people putting 500 naira a month is a is 5 billion naira. We will fund our party. We can choose our leaders based on merit. Or more, we have to just up and get ready for 2023 because this has to move on. Wait, so guys, I hope... That come 2023, we can carry out online voting due to the rigging and the likes and the likes. Imagine a Nigeria where people can vote from their mobile phone, just like the way we normally vote in BB Nigeria. Ah, it will cop all of these excesses and rigging machine of these old politicians. We will go beyond ending SAS or SWAT. Youth Democratic Party is the way. Imagine at Segalink or at FAST. The bad boy as our president and maybe as Aisha Yesufu as vice uh, president, hmm, Youth Democratic Party. <laughs> very, very funny and very, very interesting. I hope they will be able to hold it to the to the end. You know, I think that is just the right thing to do because if we are waiting that, oh, you want to go and join PDP, you want to go and join APC, they will say, oh, you need to go and join all this party. No, it is possible to change the narratives and it does not cost anything. It does not cost anything. You know, I said a time will come. Monkey go go market. You know, go come back. All these people they think oh they have already uh, developed all those uh, machinery to be able to bring down the youth or as many who have a, a good intentions. There are some old people that do have good intention, but they don't have opportunity to join these uh, political uh, uh, principalities and powers they call a uh, 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 parties. People just believe that you have to go through them 
or you need to go and start from local government chairman. You know, just like I've always said that all this idea of saying that oh, somebody does not have structure, somebody does not have this, he does not have experience, that they need to go and start from the grassroots. You can't just say you want to climb. It is possible. It is really, really possible because what are they learning in those those parties if you want to go and start from the from the grassroots? What are you going to learn? What then the question again is that those who have been there, those who have a all those decades of experiences, what have they brought to the table? What have they brought to the table? It's the same old story. Yes, the same old story day and night, every day, day in, day house. So we will go beyond ending sass, just like someone says, hmm, resist the urge to collect money from these politicians. Do it for our poor parents, for yourselves, and for your children. We have at least two years to strategize and be be a formid formidable force to reckon with. Aim to take over from local governments to presidency. Good morning to Nigerian youth. The struggle has have been tough, but I want to assure you all again that be uh, power belongs to the people. This Hashtag SWAT, uh, SWAT must end now and a uh, movement have no have no leader and should remain that way. It's true and we, we need to be careful because before you know it, uh, all these people, <laughs> they will begin, of course, they will be exposed. They will now, because since they, they, uh, there's no particular leader, in, even in this struggle of uh, this uh, end SARS, end this, end that, there's no particular this. It's an organic process which everybody knows knows about nobody can really lay claim on it and that's why it will be better instead of somebody will not come they will not go and hijack somebody or go behind and be looking for a way to bribe the person and the person will not come and be saying you know that and uh, the truth of the matter we just have to be calm you know everybody we have say on this everybody is coming out to say yes i i i'm saying this i'm saying that or not that you have to go through another person oh all those say bottlenecks if they can gather you know continue with this force it will yield positive re results but definitely we know that all these old politicians they will be looking for a way to be able to sneak in and begin to bribe some people and that is why you see that most of the governors now they are not joining hands oh yes we support you we want to do this thing with you we, 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 we understand you why is it that they have not done it since is it now that they are hearing the issue of a SARS and a police brutality is it now they will get they themselves they, will, they are always covered they have a security details all over the place but they don't care about the masses and that's why the remaining police that are on the street they would know them they do those ones are doing they, they will do and undo because some of their colleagues are you know have been allocated to all those big big men and they they of those ones they are even enjoying themselves to a very large extent so the ones that have been banned to the Philistines they are just on the street that's why they they are taking laws into their hands and do whatever they like now they are still in all these uh, new whatever the new units that the police has formed they are not even talking about their welfare so who is not deceiving who well youth are now talking take over from those old aspire politicians there is one politician in particular that's always trying to brainwash youth because of 2023 presidential election as if he loves us any small thing going against the federal government from the from with the citizens he will quickly go to twitter to be Posting negative comments against this present government as if he did better than is than this a present government is doing that in order to win you to his side. He has been vice president for before and nothing for the youth but to loot the Nigerian Nigerian youth Nigerian money. This is the opportunity to take power from these old men who has kept this country backward for years. I wish. This dream will come through. It's we. If we are serious about it, it is nothing. If people can be contributing how many millions in BB for one basic, you know, the solidarity fund, may, uh, for some people who have even lost that in this their BB of a thing, you know, after watching those BB, you will still come back to reality because you are using that one to while away your time. But <laughs> after that program, the reality will set in. So why not put your energy on things that we know that is going to be there forever that you'll be proud of nobody will be running a task i want to go to another country to go and make money by so doing once we come we'll be able to put things together it's not as if maybe things cannot be better as we speak now but some people that have made themselves principalities and powers they will not allow things to go they will be stacking the money keeping it for themselves and their children what they're supposed to use to to better the the, the infrastructure of this country they won't do it they will pocket everything. They will still use that money. You can see the youth that uh, some of the youth that we saw on TV or on, on social media saying that, oh, it is my vote. I can do whatever I like with it. They bought it. Chanting APC change. You can imagine. So, guys, let's hear your opinion. What do you think? 
I know that all these uh, politicians, they will start, you know, they will be fidgeting now. Leave your comment below and let us know your thoughts on this. Thank you.